stuff like we always do with the military, making sure that everybody understands why we do this in the first place. And it's not just for military. It's for all the heroes out there and the people that take care of our children, people that make life worth living every single day, the people that are out there um, giving 110% and they never get thanked. They never, they never get any gratitude from anybody. Um, also, to since this is Wednesday and the weather's starting to get nice, I want to remind everybody, make sure you're doing stuff with your kids, make sure you're spending time with them, make sure you're going outside, playing, kicking around the ball, throwing the baseball around, throwing the softball around, maybe going out and bumping the volleyball, you know, do something positive with your kids each and every night and every day, you know. It's one thing to watch a couple movies with your kids. That's awesome. It's another to where every single night you resort in, everybody gets in front of the TV and nobody does anything productive or useful. Uh, one thing I try to teach my daughter every day, and these are my opinions, these are my theories, nobody else's, is when you're out there, you know, and this is for us as adults also, you know, we read a good book, you know, read about 11 pages of a book a day. You know, basically read a chapter or two yourself. Have your kids read to you. Read to your kids. Both of you guys read together. You know, play board games, stuff like that. Things that they're going to remember. You know, I don't have memories of just sitting down every single day with my mom or with family members that are gone or just watching TV and doing nothing else. No, the memories I have are the conversations we had, the good, the bad, the barbecues, the, the puzzles. My grandma Coon used to love to uh, play Scrabble, okay? that's what, But, you know, if you ever went over to her house and she was there by herself, you would see that she was playing solitaire. When's the last time you played a game of solitaire? Do you even know how to play a game of solitaire? And that being said... You know, as our kids are getting older, as we're getting older, we must remember that, you know, we always reflect upon the past in order to be able to move forward in the future. And one of the things is, you know, these men and women that are police officers and detectives, firefighters, our truck drivers that are going across, our factory workers, our nurses, our teachers, they're out there every day and they are the most motivating stories you can get. Everybody always wants to have a little bit of inspiration. They always want to have a little bit of encouragement to move farther and faster in whatever they're doing. But they always forget that right there in front of them, the person that they're actually telling that to is the person they get motivation from. It is the person that they can get pure satisfaction from. You know, your kids, you know your kids, what their job is. You know why they're heroes and stuff? Because your kid's job is to play. Your kid's job is to have fun. Their, their job is to put puzzles together. Their job is to build sandcastles. Their job is to go outside and dig a hole. All right? And I know to us as adults, we forget what the purpose of a child is. We forget the purpose of when we were kids. What, what did we think? We can't think like a kid anymore. Why not? Because we don't want to do the kids' activities anymore. Go out and do a kid activity. Go out and jump on a trampoline. I know a lot of parents love jumping on trampolines. Okay? Um, that being said... Some of the greatest people that are guarding our borders right now, that are guarding our fences, that are guarding us from the evil outside trying to get in is our men and women in the uniform. You know, maybe sit down with your child and write a letter to a soldier, sailor, marine, airman, you know, or woman. Remember, when I say this stuff, I mean women also. We are all equal in the military. But when was the last time you wrote a letter to them? When was the last time you put a get-together care package for these men and women Okay, when was the last time you put a care package and took it to a church? I also tell everybody, look, if you're going to go to a church and you want to learn different religions, why don't you just go to different religions? Don't You don't have to be converted or anything like that, but, you know, always respect people by showing an interest in who they are and what they do. You don't have to be just like them, but you can respect them by respecting their values, respecting who they are. Always, you know, always make sure that when you're somebody's friend, you show them the same compassion that they're showing you. You know, they're sitting there giving you their ear all the time, and you're talking it off and everything else. Now, all of a sudden, they want to talk to you, and what's the first thing you do? You're like, ah, why would I want to listen to you? Because they're your friend. Because they're your family. Okay? Now, why am I getting this? I'm taking a different approach to compassion. There's a lot of men and women out there that are depressed. They're down and out. They... They don't feel like they're good enough. 22 of our veterans, 22 of our active duty military personnel are taking their lives every single day because they, they're not motivated. They don't feel like anybody cares about them. You know, everybody's like, well, they can go get help. Well, they're not going to. And all you people that think these people, oh, they can go get help whenever they want. I don't need to help them, blah, blah. Look at it like this. If we did not have an all-volunteer volunteer military, 
you would be recruited into the military whether you liked it or not. These men and women have volunteered so that we never have to put drafts in place again. All those religions out there that are anti-military and say, oh, we can't ever... Remember, they would not exist if it was not for the United States military. And the reason why is because people think that, oh, if we all put down our arms, everybody will put down their arms. No, they won't. There's always going to be evil in the world. There's always going to be... Think about it. Even the angels of heaven, okay, have guards. Even the angels up there, look at Angel Michael, okay, look at Angel Gabriel. I know it sounds weird and a lot of like people are not religious, but what I'm trying to tell you is respect people and respect where they're coming from, but also understand that there are people, good people, that are depressed tonight, okay? A lot of my brothers and sisters, they're not going to make it till tomorrow, and I've been saying this for months, years now, you know, you know, every single day, trying to tell everybody. Now think about it, 22 die 22 take their lives a day and that's just military that's not about the people that are not in the military that are going through situations that are lost one ones that are so depressed and despaired you know they don't know that they're supposed to live for the person that died so we can be a little kind show kindness show compassion you know what it's, it doesn't take much to smile at somebody and for all those people out there that think if somebody smiles at you because they're flirting with you and oh my god he smiled at me that means he no get it out of your head quit being conceited what it is, is sometimes it's just somebody being kind and showing you a little bit of compassion, showing you a little bit of happiness so that you're happy too. I know in life that one of the most things we all want to be is desired. We want to be desirable and we want to be desired by somebody. But sometimes, you know what? It's okay to be nice to people. It's okay to have a little bit of jealousy. It's okay to always constantly go out of your way to make somebody else happy. Do it to a lot of people because people need that in life. And that's what I do these for, is because in life we all need a mentor. We all need somebody we can look up to. We all need to be reminded of who we are, where we're coming from, where we're going, and where we're going to be. Okay? And all I'm asking here, it doesn't cost money to be nice. Honestly, it does not cost money to say please and thank you. It does not cost money or time to show a smile, to shake a hand, to say thank you. Okay? It also is one thing that I've never touched on, and it's in crucial. It's okay to ask for help when you need it. It's okay to ask somebody, hey, can you help me? Hey, you might not even need help, but you might see somebody next to you that's not doing anything and they might be bored. And if they help you, you can make a new friend. You may not need help or you may not want help. There's a difference. Some of us, we need help. We just don't want it. And sometimes the ones that want help, there's nobody around when you need it. So always offer your hand, you know, that old thing where we used to always see like Boy Scouts and people carrying groceries across the street for old ladies. Where did that go? You can bring it back. Go do it again. You know, go have a lemonade stand. Make the lemonade and just give it to people. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Whenever I do a garden in my yard, somebody was asking me about this yesterday. I usually just give all of it to my neighbors. I don't charge for it. I just, I raised the garden because I basically like growing stuff in my garden and then I give it to my neighbors and my friends and whenever I have tomatoes even my neighbors or friends are giving that to their neighbors and friends because I grow too many tomatoes sometimes and sometimes I grow too much corn look be nice say thank you to your leaders in life say thank you to those that go out of their way to help you you know people don't have to help you and they can still get ahead but why do they help you because it benefits everybody when we show a little bit of a helping hand. Our leaders in life, our priests, our mentors, our uplines, you know, salespeople, factory foremen, you know, we always have people that need to lead. Now, here's the difference between a leader and a boss. A leader will lead and go in with you. A boss will tell you to go in. A leader will help you through it by being there with you and putting you up on their shoulders and they will pull you through it. A boss, he'll sit back and tell you you have to go do it. A leader is somebody that will go in with or without you. They're going to do it. A leader is a parent that shows their children exactly what to do because they're doing it with them. A leader is somebody who takes the initiative, takes the bull by the horns, takes the lead the head of the rope, and starts pulling. And then everybody else joins in because he's leading, she's leading by example. That's what a leader does. A leader leads by example. Not for what they want out of it, but for what the benefit is. 
and other words in the Marine Corps. We have all kinds of leaders, starting with our fire team leaders, you know, our squad leaders, our platoon leaders, you know. And what it is, is they go in first. They will run into a burning building. So you know what the else that is? That's called a hero. So our police officers and firefighters, they're leaders. Why? Because they're doing the things and they're not afraid to do them before we do them. A boss is somebody that tells you to go do it and he don't care whether or not it gets done or not as long as he's not the one doing it. A leader and a boss is not a business owner, people. Get that out of your head. Anybody that says, well, wait a minute, I'm a boss. No, you got boss and business are messed up. We call them leaders of our communities because they are business owners that are leading the way. They took the initiative to open up the stores. They took the initiative. Leaders are our congressmen. Leaders are our people that sit on city hall. Okay, they're leaders because they go and do it themselves first and they ask everybody to join in. A boss is somebody that will sit there and tell you what to go do and never amount to anything. We've lost a lot of leaders in our government lately. But, you know, like your local hometown heroes, they're leaders. Our people, our aldermen and stuff like that, they're leaders because they're going to take the bull by the horn. They're going to wrestle it down. They're going to be there until the end. And you know what? They're the last person, the first person in, the last person out. That's a leader. So that's, now that we got the difference between a boss and a leader, we always need to make sure that the, we're following leaders and not following bosses. Because leaders will lead you to the promised land. You just don't see it right now. Um, and Quincy, Illinois, we've got pretty good leadership. And I'm really proud of our leadership and the people and the men and women that sit on our city hall and, you know, the men and women of our police department or sheriff's department. And that's my hometown. That's where I get all this from. So I know I'm talking to people from all over the world and all over the United States, and they always ask me why. It's because I have had the privilege and opportunity to be friends with, shake hands with, work with some of the true leaders of my life. And now within Legal Shield and what I do there, and within the Marine Corps, what I do there, and with the veterans, what I do there, there are true leaders that are grabbing the bull by the horns, and they lead you through it. They will take you to it, and they will lead you through it. That's what a leader is. Remember that. Tonight's um, Daily Reflections is about leaders. Leaders are those people that go in, our family, our fa friends, our parents, single moms, single dads, they're leaders. So... Tonight, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I'm going to say a prayer. Then I'm going to say a Hail Mary. Then an Our Father. If you're not religious, that's okay. You can still follow along give good, good wishful thoughts on everybody else. Hey, look. I just saw my buddy Paul on here. Hey, Paul. He's a leader in our community, too. He's an alderman. He is probably one of the nicest guys you ever meet. And I think I played pool with him a couple times. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to say a prayer for everybody out there. And then I ask that you guys give me your blessing. And I'm going to give you mine. And then tomorrow, make tomorrow the best day of your life. But remember, go out there and be a little kind for people. Go out there and teach your kids what kindness is all about. Teach them sportsmanship, but teach them competition too. You know, I don't believe in this. There's no such thing as a loser. And everybody's going to get mad at me for saying that. Look, there's winners and losers. The reason why is because somebody, it, you, you're a winner if you know never to down somebody for losing because that person is going to come back and kick your butt and maybe end up going to the Olympics when you're still not. So you don't have to be a bully to somebody. There's always going to be winners and losers. That's the great thing about it. But it's how we react to the losing team or the winning team. You know, you don't have to be a winner and a loser to each other just because you won a baseball game. And look at all the Cubs and Cardinals fans out there. You know what? Guess what? I'm in a city full of Cubs, Cardinals fans, White Sox fans, Reds fans, Red Sox fans. And we all get a letter. We all go out. Everybody gets in arguments. And at the end of the day, guess what? We're all shaking hands. It's like the military. Everybody thinks all oh, military branches hate each other. All oh, they're so mad at each other. They're not. Believe it or not, we fight with each other. We fight for each other and we defend each other. That's the nice thing about it. There is no such thing as winners and losers. There is a winner and a losing team. But the real winners are those that basically go on to the next game to win again or to lose again. And guess what? It doesn't really matter what happens. Okay, I'm going to pray now. So in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God in heaven, Father God, please be with everybody out there today that are depressed or lonely. For those that have terminal illnesses, that they understand that their lives are important. Please be with all those that are depressed and in despair. Please be with all of our men and women in uniform and that are out of uniform now and our Vietnam vets, World War I, II vets, Korean vets, Iraqi, Kuwaiti vets, Afghanistan vets, 
please be with all of our military, especially those that are going through PTSD that feel that their lives are not going to matter and are ready to take their lives tonight. Please send in your Holy Spirit to stop them from taking their lives. God, please be with all of our leaders in our communities, everywhere from our aldermen to our mayors. It doesn't matter what political side of the fence they stand on. What matters is they stand for rights and justice and the truth, and they stand for what is right and fair, not for what is politically going to put money in their pocket. God, please be with our leaders and each one of our businesses and our organizations and our leaders that are opening up businesses in our communities that keep us flourishing and growing as small towns, that put food on our table, that put jobs, that give us work, Please be with those that mentor us and train us how to be self-efficient, how to move about our lives in a good manner. God, please be with all those out there, all the single moms and the single dads. Please be with, that. Please be with the families that are together, the families that are going through sadness, anger, depression, fear. Please be with those that are trying to stop drinking alcohol and they're trying to get off drugs. Please be with those kids that have never had a mentor, that we show them what a mentor is. So that they grow up and they're able to mentor also. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And God, make sure you're with all those truck drivers out there on the road tonight because they need you because they don't have anybody else out there on the road. And that road can be a very lonely highway. Amen. God, please put blessings upon everybody watching this tonight. That they have happiness in their heart. That they go in with no fear. That you give them wisdom and strength. Amen. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everybody. Whether you're religious or not, these prayers don't matter whether you're religious or not. What it matters is that you think positive. That if you love God, you love God with your heart. If you believe in the Spirit, you believe in the Spirit with all your heart. It doesn't matter. What matters is you're a good person. You do things for the right way. What matters is that you're a good mom or a good dad. And you know what that means? That means being a leader. Today is about being a leader. Leaders lead. Okay? People that think, hey, I'm a new boss. Great, I'm glad. You know what? I've seen bosses and I've seen leaders. I've been in the Marine Corps where there's a boss and there's a leader. Leaders are the ones that you will go to hell and back for because you believe in them, their cause, and they're right there with you. A boss is somebody that'll send you into the pits of hell and he don't care if you come out or not. He's just going to send somebody else. Leaders lead. Leaders own businesses. Leaders are factory workers. Leaders are truck drivers. Heroes are leaders. Leaders are heroes. My name is Jeffrey Jansen, and each and every one of you need to know this. You matter. You're important. Make sure you read with your children tonight. Read a book with your children. Read to them. Let them read to you. If you're religious, pray with your children tonight. If you're not religious, just talk positive and do positive things with your children call family members you haven't talked to in a while don't just post their picture online go and call them talk to them let them know how you feel go on facebook and social media and put a name of a person and tell why they're your friend and why they you care about them and why they're awesome do it i guarantee you're going to get a great response back and if people are negative get new friends i will say that until i'm blue in the face my name is Jeffrey W. Jansen. I'm from that big old city, actually a little, little town in Quincy, Illinois on the mighty Mississippi River. We may be small, but we got a big heart here. You guys remember, you matter. You've made a difference in people's lives, and your best days are still ahead of you. Your greatest days are ahead of you. Don't get down on yourself. Remember, lift yourself up, lift others up. The more you do for other people, the more you'll do for yourself. It doesn't take money to be kind. It doesn't take money to be nice. And it never takes money to be a leader and a hero. See everybody. God bless. I love you guys. Have a good one.